conversations that were going on in the Southeast about a potential league, honestly, was that we weren't going to have a league. We were having discussions with organization heads around the Southeast, and we came to the conclusion that we weren't going to have a league. And then, as the as the leagues started to come together, um, and as it looked like some leadership was forming kind of across the country and the leagues were gonna unify. And then I had the opportunity, or we had the opportunity really to see the people that were involved across the country. Then it went from no way to um, we can't not. We can't not do this. We can't not be involved with this group of people. The power of the Alliance and the leagues is that the Alliance at the national level um, has a lot, a lot of voices um, that are heard. And the majority of those voices are organization heads and coaches. Organization heads and coaches' primary responsibility is to advocate for their players. So if organization heads and coaches are making the decisions and their primary responsibility is to advocate for the players, we have a player-centric national body. And all of the leagues are structured very similarly. All of the leagues are run by and voices are heard from organization heads and coaches. And again, if of those people, their number one priority is to advocate for their players, we have player-centric leagues. So now we have from the very top nationally all the way to the league level we have a structure that is geared entirely toward players and what's best for players. I think the most powerful thing is that almost everyone involved from, um, in the leader, from a leadership perspective in every league and at the national level um, has given up their automatic bid to whatever national tournament that they were playing in in the past to be a part of something that guarantees them only a shot. It doesn't guarantee them a spot. It just guarantees them an opportunity for a spot. And the, I mean, there's nothing more equitable than that structure. It can't, can't be done any more equi equitably than that. I hope that as we go through the years and organizations form and go away and change hands and new leadership comes along that the collaboration continues. Um, you know, that's going to take a lot of smart people to figure out how to do that, but um, hopefully we have those people. The Southeastern League is going to be entirely inclusive. Um, the league won't favor any club, it won't favor any tournament, it won't favor any tournament director. Uh, it never will. Um, it will be all about the teams, um, all about equity, and um, all about players.